So, in defense of Amber from Invincible, kind of. Let me explain. The dynamic between Mark and Amber is complicated. Both characters having their own share of faults. As an audience, we tend to empathize more with Mark because we know his heart and see things from his perspective. Mark is a good person, but not necessarily a great boyfriend likely to do to his inexperience in relationships. Being a teenager, he becomes more vulnerable and nervous around girls he likes, which is a common trait. Moreover, as viewers, we are aware of the risk he takes and see him as a hero, which we should. However, it's important to not dismiss or invalidate Amber's feelings in the relationship. She desires the presence and reassurance of her boyfriend, wanting to feel wanted and valued. She has every right to. She has wants and needs in a romantic relationship. When she entered the relationship, she believed she was dating a regular teenage boy, not a superhero. While dating someone like a cop or a firefighter, you are allowed to have and make informed choices and have mental preparation. It can still hurt when your partner misses important events or family gatherings. The pain they experience is valid, even if there is a level of understanding due to the circumstances. Although that understanding may alleviate some of the pain, it does not erase it completely. It's worth considering the differences between Amber's portrayal in the show and the comics. In the show, Amber is depicted as a more cultural and intelligent being compared to Mark. However, so in the comics, she's more presented as a girl next door. The scene at the college is almost identical in both versions, but the significant distinction lies in Amber's knowledge. In the comics, Amber remains unaware of Mark's secret, allowing us to empathize with both characters since we understand the context of the relationship. Conversely, in the show, she learns about Mark's secrets a couple weeks prior to the blow-up. It's crucial to remember that for the first four and a half months of their relationship, Amber believed Mark was an ordinary teenager. The twist of her knowing beforehand makes her reaction seem out of place, perhaps add for the sake of creating a different narrative compared to the comics. Funny enough, in the comics, Amber and Mark break up because he lacks the time for her. Despite the knowledge of his superhero identity, Mark is juggling college and his superhero responsibilities, leaving little time for their relationship. Their breakup is sad, but understandable. Regardless of Mark being a superhero, Amber's feelings, wants, and needs remain valid. This applies to any relationship. Everyone's feelings and needs should be acknowledged and respected. In the show, Amber's outburst at the school was inappropriate. Although her feelings were valid, she could have handled the situation better. The show somewhat damages her character by presenting a reaction that aligns more with a different version of Amber rather than the one we've been introduced to. Had Amber not exploded at Mark in that college scene, she might have appeared more reasonable. It's essential to recognize that she is a teenager who, like Mark, is imperfect, but ultimately a good person as evidenced by her volunteering and desire to make a positive impact. It's likely that she harbored a lot of repressed anger, distrust, pain, and feelings of foolishness, which led to her outburst when she finally had a moment alone with Mark. Once again, our bias as the audience brings more inclined to side with Mark, influences our perception. We have witnessed Mark's numerous near-death experiences, heartbreaks and failures, and we have grown attached to him, which is the whole point of the show really, which is understandable. However, on the other hand, Amber remains a static character, 
and our lack of connection with her makes it easier to dismiss her emotions, forgetting that feelings are not so easily brushed aside. Feelings don't dissipate so easily. They require time to process and heal. If you believe that two weeks are significant to let go of pent-up emotions accumulated over four and a half months, it may be a misjudgment. It's possible to make an effort to move forward, but without open and honest conversations to express those feelings, letting go completely may be difficult. Mark did lie, and although we understand his reasoning, it is still a breach of trust. Similarly, Amber withheld the information about Mark's secret identity after discovering it herself, choosing to wait until he revealed it. This is a scene we have seen in other media, such as MJ in the MCU Spider-Man, MJ in the Sam Ramsey Spider-Man, Gwen in the Amazing Spider-Man. Amber's lack of understanding regarding secret identities appears cold. She is allowed to be angry and upset, but it doesn't mean she can't experience negative emotions while trying to comprehend Mark's general superhero's perspective. Her lack of empathy in the situation seems out of character for someone who we perceived as having strong principles. And it could be because of those strong principles that have her being so cold towards Mark. For instance, if someone steals your food, like a bag of chips, for some people it's not the value of the chips, but the fact that the food was stolen in the first place. Ultimately, both Mark and Amber are young individuals navigating the complexities of a relationship, made even more challenging by Mark's superhero status. This isn't an easy journey and requires time to understand and manage emotions. Emotions can be intricate and difficult to handle, but it's crucial to acknowledge and validate each other's feelings, wants, and needs in order to cultivate a healthy and sustainable relationship. But yeah, like always, turn on all 37 notifications and subscribe to the channel. And like always, like always, you are a human being and you are loved. And like always, like always, like always, until we meet again.